Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, another plan with me and I'm using this kit from Cinderella Paper and this is actually the first week I'm using these Caress Press inserts in my Aura Estelle cloud and I'm also pairing it with silver foil that I also got from Caress Press and I also got these little leftover labels from Chic Streak Designs and I pulled in these glitter heddle glitter headers from chic sparrow designs and i also got these overlays from i believe also caress press and then the glitter header is from rose colored days this video was originally going to be a talk through video that's why you see my hands moving a lot and i'm talking a lot and i'm showing you guys a lot of my material i don't know why i've never done that before but um let me know if you guys like that um i'm just using my uh pen gems with the pilot high taxi refill and then i also have my fiskers scissors and exacto knife handy and then i also have my mini books or mini sticker books um that i keep close by just because it's easier to flip through than my bigger binder and yeah the first thing i'm doing is laying down the bottom washi putting down the date covers the date dots i ended up using are silver foiled from simply watercolor co i believe and yeah i thought this kit was appropriate for the first day back at classes i wanted to use the new like school themed kit from scribble friends co but i did not get it in time for this video so i actually believe it's out for delivery right now so i'm probably gonna get it later on today but i'm still gonna use that kit <laughs> but for this kit i thought this would be appropriate just because it is online classes and you know i'm gonna be like lounging at home and using my laptop and planner and notebook and i'm still doing that at home so i guess i don't know i'm, I'm not feeling the school vibes as much because everything's online so i guess seeing that like notebook i don't even think it's a notebook i think it's like a magazine or something i can't even remember but seeing that just kind of gave me like an excuse to use it as a first week of a class spread but yeah i started my first week of classes and honestly I'm okay with most of my classes. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm okay with most of my classes. I think my biggest struggle at the moment um, is kind of finding the balance between studying for my cl classes and also finding the time to study for the DAT. I've been super stressed out about the DAT. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've been doubting myself a lot because of... I've been taking like practice tests and these practice tests are supposed to cover like the entire chapters of like biology and I've only studied like I think six chapters so far <laughs> so the stuff that is covered in like all of the other chapters I get those answers wrong and I beat myself up about it even though I didn't study it so I shouldn't but I just I kind of I don't know I'm getting really self-conscious about my abilities but I guess that comes with the entire you know studying for a big test and application process I forgot how stressful it was to apply to schools um, I applied for um, my undergrad classes or my undergrad degree my bachelor's degree and it wasn't half as stressful because I don't know, there was a, a lot higher chance of me getting into schools than with dental schools, I guess. I don't know. Um, also, in high school, I had a lot more extracurricular activities, and my GPA was just a lot higher um, or a lot more competitive, I guess. And then also, I don't think like undergrad is as competitive as like dental school and grad schools and stuff like that so that's also something that's in the back of my mind and i feel like i just kind of doubt myself a lot and honestly i did doubt myself a lot with undergrad applications too but i feel like that's just part of my like who i am i am my own worst critic which in some ways it can be good and bad just because 
I hold myself a lot more accountable, I guess. And yeah, um, another aspect that I think is making me nervous is the fact that I am an international student. Now, some schools, they treat international students like regular applicants, but um, other schools tend to treat them as like limited seatings, I guess. So they have a limited number of seats they have for international students. So I kind of am worried that some schools won't even look at my application because, you know, they've already met the seat capacity for international students. So, yeah, I don't know. There's just been a lot on my mind, but I know everything happens for a reason and, you know, everything in its own good time. If you guys have any questions about anything in the sidebar, please let me know and I will answer in the comments down below. But we are going to go into the day by day. So on Monday, I started off with this glitter header from um, Sparrow Designs. I can't remember the exact name, but I will leave it linked down below. But after that, I used a half box and an upload sticker from Van Sticky to mark that I uploaded the or I want to upload the get to know me tag. I then put a half box or a full box, sorry, and also a quarter box from Chic Streak Sticker Boutique, and an email perf email sticker from Kina Prints to Mark that I wanted to email my professor, just because there's a lot. Like for some reason, I got um, unenrolled or like withdrawn from a class that I did not withdraw from, <laughs> and there was like. Um, it wasn't a whole issue like they said I didn't meet the prerequisites but I did so it was it was just very confusing but I had to email my professor to sort that out and yeah I am using the header um, silver foil confetti header overlays from caress press so yeah I also um, had to make some calls on Monday so I just used this munchkin on its phone and a checklist of the places I wanted to call I uh, can't remember what, oh, I did a voiceover, so I used a Little Things and a Vanilla from Paper Shire to mark that. Um, and then on Tuesday, that's when I started my classes, so I just started the day with a full box of the laptop sticker. I then also had a cleaning company come that day, so I used a banner and I uh, layered on top the uh, Maru, the marshmallow from Paper and Milk that is cleaning. I then used this, I don't know what kind of size box this is, but I it's like from the Chic Streak Sticker Boutique um, sticker thingies, and I used this girl on her laptop from Starlight Paper Studios, and I just marked my classes, and I to kind of mark my classes, I used these emoji heads from the Coffee Monsters Co., and the glitter header things are from Rose Colored Days, I don't know if I mentioned that, and then I used a quarter box, and like a girl, like, kissing or like putting lipstick on I don't know and for some reason I wanted to get ready I don't know why but I I did and then my boyfriend brought up um or brought buffalo wild wings home that day so I'm using this um girl eating chicken from paper shire and then on Wednesday I wanted to mark waking up early and I used this hat um this half box, sorry, and then this coffee for sticker from Van Sticky. And then on Wednesday, I just have one class, and it is my Arabic class. So I just use a little things and a emoji uh, head from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, this week also, since it's the first week, I didn't start my labs. So yeah, um, my next plan with me, you will see a lot more, or you will see labs in my uh, schedule. But yeah, I ended up putting a to-do header and a checklist and just filled in a few things that I wanted to do or needed to do by the end of that day. I then used a glitter header and a, well, I pulled up the build do sticker and put, remembered that I wanted to put this full box down and then just put this build do sticker on top of that, oh, I'm sorry, I hit my mic. I don't know if you guys heard that. I hope you didn't, but <laughs> yeah. On Thursday, I put down um, this glitter header and then this full box, and I'm pretty sure that's a magazine, but we're going to pretend it's a notebook and a planner or something. I don't know. But then I used a glitter header from Rose Colored Days and that little sized box again from Chic Streak Sticker Boutique and an no, a munchkin on its laptop with like a cat be on it by its side because that's exactly how it is when I have my classes and I just wrote down the classes and I'm going to use the little headers to kind of mark my classes again 
and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am a white space chronological uh, planner, so I do like doing things in the order that I do them throughout the day, or I like laying my plans in the order that I would do them throughout the day. So over here, you're going to see me lift up a few stickers because I had therapy in between um, some of my classes. So I believe I had neuro and oh, the script stickers I'm using to mark my classes are from Libby and Lou Stickers Co. But yeah, I have neuro and then microbiology. I don't know. I keep lifting it up. Oh. I used a banner on its side and I got a little freeze frame action for you guys because I accidentally forgot to press record but I just marked therapy with a munchkin going to therapy from once more with love and then I used a emoji from the coffee monsters code to mark my microbiology class I then used a another emo uh, little things to mark that I was prepping for the DAT and the girl studying is from Little Star Plans and then I was super stressed that day so I used a stress AF sticker from Once More With Love. Yes, and then going on to Friday, I put down a glitter header and then a glitter banner in the middle and a girl sleeping from paper ecos just to mark that i want to sleep in because friday i don't have classes and, or i have one class and it's at 2 30 so i just wanted to sleep in a little bit but i didn't i ended up like sleeping until like 10 i think or not even 10 i think it was like 9 30 but i just stayed in bed until 10 trying to fall back asleep but I couldn't but yeah I just put down a uh, to-do header and a checklist or a bow checklist and I just put down a few to-dos sorry and yeah I then used a glitter header for most color days and a full box because I don't know I just want to use more full boxes and then again I did not get this on camera but I used a little things and a munchkin on the sofa with a remote and a blanket because that looks like me <laughs> and I just wanted to mark that Mulan comes in or Mulan is going to be on Disney plus that day so yeah going on to saturday i first started off with a full box and then a bill due sticker just to mark that my car insurance was due i then put down a to do header and a bow checklist and wrote down a few things i wanted to check off i actually ended up not doing much on saturday doing but doing most of everything else on sunday which is fine because you know i still got it done but yeah, I also wanted to have some me time, which I did not end up having, but it's okay. <laughs> I used this girl from Brianna Nicole Designs with a towel on her head and just like a face mask and um, all that stuff. But yeah, that is pretty much how my week went. Uh, it's not as accurate as my memory plan uh, planner spreads tend to be just because these are the things I hope to do or I plan on doing but sometimes things just happen and I don't end up doing them or one day I'm more productive than the other but it's fine it's okay <laughs> yeah on Sunday I started off with a full box and a bunny waking up early or waking up to the sun from paper shire and I just wrote that I wanted to wake up early and yeah I don't know why it's taking me forever to write up early it's it's not that hard, Mia. It's really hard. I think I'm just being super critical with myself, which I am always being super critical. And I feel like so many people get so annoyed <laughs> by how, like, many times I redo things because I'm not happy with them. But you know what? It's okay. I think. I hope. <laughs> but yeah, on Sunday, I just wanted to do some laundry. The icons that I used this week are from the kit, and I just wanted to mark that I wanted to film and upload. And um, I don't think I ended up filming. I think I ended up editing, and because I did a lot of filming, I think on Thursday or Friday, I cannot remember, but. I also wanted to study and I wanted to reply to comments. I then put a full box at the bottom of the day just because I wanted to remember to use the full box and I wanted to have space to do so. So I did that. Then I used a little things and a girl like 
reading books and stuff from Van Sticky to Mark that I wanted to do homework and right here I'm just using my uh, silver foil header overlays from Caress Press just to put on the glitter headers that I did not put down already or to begin with but yeah that is pretty much how my week went or not really that's how i hoped my week would go but some things did change you guys will find out when i do my memory spread but yeah i ended up putting the weekend banner and i'm just putting these inserts back into my aura estelle cloud which i know i keep saying i'm gonna do a setup video but i don't do it's just because i'm never happy with my setup but you know what it's fine i did a little mini viv wiggle but it was kind of a fail but you know what i tried and that's all that matters and yeah these are all the leftover stickers and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye